I took a trip today to my new university and it just kind of dawned on me that I should have been here all along. I applied for a transfer a few months ago at my old university, which at the time was a pretty good option. See, then I had two jobs that kept me away from applying to this new university. I was a bookseller and a creative writing teacher, so the two jobs kept me in that little suburb where I grew up. And out of all things, the virus suspended me from both of those jobs and I realized I made a boo-boo. I should have applied to my dream university instead. So halfway through the semester, I decided to screw it. I'm going to transfer over to Melbourne University. The paperwork was tedious, but I got through it and left without a trace. The tram stopped, and the minute that I saw the old architecture, I knew I was at the right place. I checked where all my classes were and sat down on the bench for a bit. A man came up to me and asked me where a certain building was, and I told him, Sorry, I'm also new here. He smiled and said, That's alright, and left me alone. After a while, I saw a professor on a bike riding past me under the spotted shades of trees. I walked around the old arts building for a bit and realized that was it. I'd be studying here for the next few years and it felt just right. There was a paragraph in a novel that I drafted a while ago that described the campus. The campus in the morning had an eerie feel. The morning's fog still lingered, casting gloom on the dated buildings. The students weren't there. Only a few professors and gardeners circled around the paths with cups of coffee. After sitting on a bench for a while with my notebook, I had made my way to Roger's office. When trailing through the empty corridors with old pictures alongside the walls, a strange calm took over me. My steps slowed and I became aware of the space. The building had been there for more than 150 years. It's hard to imagine those in black and white photos were ones, perhaps just like us. They walked through the same corridors and thought similar thoughts. Maybe the past just isn't dead. The past is now. We're living history with modern clothes. It was a decent effort, but I'm sure as the semester goes on, I'll probably end up with more stories to tell about this place.